What is up everybody? This is Ankit from Codit. In this video, we're going to be creating this parallax effect using pure HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And if you cannot figure out what is the difference between the regular scroll and this scroll, so let me turn off this parallax effect and then show you. So this is without parallax effect. This effect we have without parallax effect. It is very normal as it should be. But this is parallax effect like this so now let's get started before starting the video let me mention that i'm on my code pen and if you want the source code of this project you can go below in the description and find the source code of this pen and now let's start the project by creating a section inside this section i'll have an h1 with the class of title inside this i'll add a text called parallax effect now i'll hit save and this is our html required for this project now we'll move on to our css in the css first of all i'll create i'll give some basic stylings to my pseudo elements and to my uh, universal operator i'll give padding of zero margin of zero box having border box and now i'll head on to section and to section i'll give height 100 vh width 100 percent and i'll add background background would be and i have this link and you'll find the link of this image in the description and after this i'll add background repeat no repeat after this uh, it will not repeat now i want the background position to be center or i should add top here because i want this parallax effect and in order to make this parallax effect to work good we want to add top in this uh, background position now I want to add the size. Background size here would be you can give cover, but what I want is I want to give it hundred percent from the x axis and hundred percent from the y axis like this. So this is what we want to do. You can also give cover if you want, but you have to give top in this background position. Remember that. Now I've added background position. I've added background and all that stuff. Now I want to give display of flex justify content center align items center just to center this text in the very middle and now I have to the title that is my text I want to give color f7 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 I will change the color now I will change the font size to 5 rem now I also want to change the font family and that is Della Gothic 1 and I okay so this is our font family and I've already uploaded this font family in my code pen if I try to show you here so here it is so you do not have to worry about that if you are uh, if you are in my code pen now I want to change the weight font weight and I'll set it to lighter so that it becomes thinner now after doing all these things I'll grab on the body I'll give it a height of 200 VH so that we have a scrollable thing going on here. Now I want to change the color of this background. I want to set it to 121212 and this is what it is. Now I'll grab on the section once again and now not section but after class after element and here I'll add first of all the height that is 200 pixels or before that I want to add content and that it will be blank in here and now I'll, I'll also add position absolute here and since I'm adding position to my seed element to my parent element that is section I'll give position relative like so now I've given height I will want to give width 100% and just to show you I'll add border border 1 pixel solid white just to show you where it is so here it is because we have given display of flex so here it would be now i do not want that i have given position absolute so i want bottom to be zero so it will be shifted to the very bottom now what i want is i want to change this bottom from zero to minus 100 pixels so that it shift 100 pixels downward so why it shift downward is because i have given bottom minus 100 pixels that means from bottom it should be minus 100 pixels so it would be shifted downwards yes so this is what our after element is now i'll remove this border and i'll give background 
background would be linear gradient this time and I'll give to bottom first color would be transparent and the second color would be the very same color that is of my body so it is like this we are cre creating a blending color here I, I want a blend effect to this section but it is not looking like it is blending so I can add some percentage here like 20% here it is so it looks like it is blending but I wanna change it to maybe 40 does 50 work ok it works so 50 is good we will add 50 now it seems that here we have a blending effect now I want the parallax effect so we have done all these things I just want parallax effect now and for that I will move on to JS now in JS first of all I will grab on the section by query selector and after the section I will listen to an event in this window and that event would be scroll and I'll create a fader function and what this line means it just it will listen for this scroll event I'm saying add event listen that means it will event for it will listen for any event and this time I have passed an event that is called scroll so whenever we scroll what we have to scroll this window so whenever we scroll this window this fader function would be triggered and now in this function I want to give <coughs> section dot section dot style dot background position y and inside this back text I'll give uh, let me first just write scroll and then show you not scroll I meant scroll y and now if I show you like this it is what we will get and we'll get the very same effect if we write background position or background attachment sorry background attachment fixed in RCSS but it is out of the scope of this tutorial so what did this happen and let me first tell you what the scroll y is so scroll y is just the value that we have scrolled from the very top and let me log it for you if I do console.log scroll y and now let me open the console here and let me clear it out and yes if I scroll then just see here we get some values and these values are nothing but the values that we have scrolled from the top if I just scroll it to the very top of the page I get 0 so that means we have scrolled 0 pixels from the top ok so this is what scroll y gives now let me remove this scroll y and here so if I say scroll y then it means that our image the background position in y direction of this image should scroll as we scroll so should, it should scroll the very same pixels as we scroll the page but but I want I want it like I do not want it to be like this let me comment it out and now what I want is it should scroll like this it should go up the image should go up as this text does but slightly it should be uh, it should be slower than this one like this parallax effect goes upwards as as we are scrolling but to this image what I want is it should go slowly like let me show you if I just remove this comment and here in scroll y let me divide it by 1.5 because now see if uh, let me remove this and now let me show you what happens if scroll y is at some position let's say 300 pixels let's say it is 300 pixels let's say it is 300 pixels then our background position from y is 300 pixels as well because the scroll y is the background position okay so this is 300 pixels from the very top but if I divide it by 1.5 let's say then what it will happen is I'm just saying that if scroll y is 300 pixels then then you have to change this background position y to 300 pixels upon 1.5 that is 200 pixels so if you scroll 300 pixels then the image will on only scroll 200 pixels and if I show you and yes we got our effect so this was it we had to create and I hope that you understand this code and if you did understand and if you liked the video hit that like button down below make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the instant notification of our latest videos thank you for watching